Who remembers the Marx Brothers? Remember Groucho, Harpo, Chico, Zeppo, and Gummo? Thanks for joining me on my tours of cemeteries, gravesites, memorials, and final resting places of the famous and infamous people who are gone but not forgotten. Today I'm going to start my tour of the various final resting places of the five Marx Brothers at the Tamaris Country Club in Rancho Mirage, California. A country club may seem like an odd place to start a famous grave tour, but two of the brothers, Harpo and Zeppo, were both cremated and their ashes were scattered. Over the years, I've read in a number of places that at least one of the brothers had his ashes scattered here at the Tamaris Country Club. If you're a fan of the Marx Brothers, then you probably know why. For those of you less familiar with the Marx Brothers, I'll explain. The Tamaris Country Club opened in 1952, and the brothers were among 65 wealthy and famous investors who helped develop and promote the club. Not only did the brothers all buy homes here, but their celebrity and Hollywood friends did as well. The most famous resident was probably Frank Sinatra. The Country Club is located on the corner of Frank Sinatra Drive and Duval Drive, and the cemetery where Frank Sinatra is buried, Desert Memorial Park, is located on Duval Drive, just a few miles from the Country Club. And Frank's wife, Barbara Sinatra, who died last year, and is now buried next to him, was once married to Zeppo Marx. Barbara divorced Zeppo in 1973 and married Frank Sinatra in 1976. Zeppo died in 1979 at the Eisenhower Medical Center in Rancho Mirage, just down the street, since we'll probably never know exactly where the ashes of the two brothers have been scattered. This is probably as close as we'll get to a final resting place for the two comedic legends. Today, all of the brothers have a street named after them here at the Tamaris Country Club as a memorial of sorts to five of their most famous members. So I'm gonna head on now to Los Angeles to visit the final resting places of the other three Marx Brothers. My first stop is Forest Lawn Glendale. And once I enter through the front gates, I'm just gonna go straight ahead and follow the road just about as far as it will take me up the hill to the northeast corner of this very large cemetery. The Marx Brothers started as a vaudeville act in 1905. The brothers were a singing group and didn't really become a comedy routine until years later. And as luck would have it, the Marx Brothers stage show was just becoming very popular in the late 1920s when movies were switching from silent films to talkies. Their first released movie was The Coconuts, which premiered in 1929 and was based on their 1925 Broadway musical. They went on to make 13 films together, and five of those movies are considered by the American Film Institute to be among the top 100 comedies of all time. And the Marx Brothers themselves are considered by most to be one of the greatest comedy groups of the 20th century. They disbanded in 1950, and Groucho Marx went on to have a very successful solo career. He continued to do movies, and he also did radio and TV. And today, he's probably the most recognized and most famous of the five brothers. Part of their success is that each of the brothers created a distinctive stage persona. Chico was the oldest brother and played the stereotypical, dim-witted Italian con man. Harpo was the second oldest, and he usually played a clown and did pantomime. He never spoke, but whistled instead. He also played the harp, which led to his nickname. The middle child was Groucho, whose quick wit, combined with his distinctive look with the big glasses, the mustache, and the bushy eyebrows, not to mention the trademark cigar, made him one of the most recognizable and most popular. Gummo was the second to the youngest of the brothers and was part of their vaudeville and stage act, but left their act before they started making movies. Gummo's nickname apparently was given to him because he was accident prone and as a result wore gum shoes to keep him from slipping in the snow. 
At least that's one possible explanation for his nickname. Another is that he wore the gumshoes, allowing him to sneak up behind people without being heard. Zeppo was the youngest of the Marx Brothers, and when his older brother Gummo left the group, he joined his older brothers to fill in for Gummo. Zeppo played the straight man, and apparently he was either named after the popular Zeppelins of the time, or an even more popular and famous athletic chimpanzee. Apparently Zeppo was also athletically inclined, and the nickname stuck. The Freedom Mausoleum is where I'm headed, and it's a two-story structure, and you can either enter through the main entrance, which is actually on the second floor, or you can go around to the back and enter on the first floor. But I'm going to take the more scenic route and enter upstairs through the beautiful courtyard. Once inside the doors, you make a left, and as you can see, there's a stairway there on the right. I'm going to take the stairway all the way down. And at the bottom of the stairs, I'm going to make another right. I'm going to go to the end of the corridor, make yet another right. and go to the first corridor and make yet another right and on the right hand wall near the top is the crypt of Chico Marx. His brother Gummo is just across the hallway on the same side of the hallway and on the same wall. They are practically next to each other, just separated by the hallway. As you can see, Gummo's wife Helen is in the crypt just to his left. There are lots of other famous people interred here in this mausoleum, and just as many are buried outside the mausoleum. Walt Disney's ashes are interred just to the left of the front door where we came in. But today, I'm here just to visit the final resting places of these two Marx Brothers. About 20 to 30 minutes northwest of the city of Glendale is the city of Mission Hills, and the Eden Memorial Park Cemetery where Groucho Marx's ashes are interred. It's a small to medium sized cemetery and once inside the gate I'm gonna to head to the mausoleum in the center of the park. It's easy to find once you've entered through the gates. It's on the right hand side of the road and easy to find once you've entered through the gates. The outdoor mausoleum has walls lined with crypts, as you can see here to the left, but I'm heading to the columbarium, which I believe is this door on the left straight ahead. From the pictures that I've seen on the Find a Grave app, I'm looking for a small room of niches. So it turns out that I was right, and the door that I saw did lead into this room of niches. According to the Find a Grave memorial page, the GPS says that I'm in the wrong place. So I was just about ready to turn around and leave when I discovered Groucho's niche on the east wall there straight ahead. Most of the time, as I've said before, the, the GPS's can be very helpful in finding graves, but occasionally, for whatever reason, the GPS is way off. But with any luck, the photos sometimes on the memorial page give you a clue to where the grave or crypt or niche is located, which they did in this case. 
So how many of you also remember watching Groucho's TV show, You Bet Your Life? It was on the air from 1950 to 1961, and then in reruns for decades after that. I'm pretty sure that I probably caught it on reruns. The TV show was just a little bit before my time, and the Marx Brothers movies were way before my time. But I do remember when I was growing up watching their old movies on TV as well. And how about George Fenneman, Groucho's funny straight man on the show? I was curious what happened to him, so I looked him up and discovered that he was also cremated. But unfortunately, the whereabouts of his ashes are unknown, and he doesn't have a final resting place to visit. So who was your favorite Marx Brother? Or which was your favorite Marx Brothers movie? And did you ever own a pair of these Groucho glasses with the bushy eyebrows and the big nose? It's really cool to see that his fans are still visiting the final resting place of this comic genius all these years later. And instead of leaving stones, it appears that they're leaving these masks and cigars, which I'm sure Groucho would appreciate. So as always, thanks for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video tour, please share it with a friend and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe down below. And I hope to see you next time.